we can we can make this happen right now. You think they don't want to be real in their group? Yeah, well, you know, it was it was a group of white kids. You know what I'm saying? I'm, right. I'm Latin, so I don't know. You could pass off every now and then because sometimes you be looking white. <laughs> sometimes you be well, looking I'm a little light skin. You know, yeah. um, Latin. So that's a blessing. Yeah. That's a blessing. Sorry, no tortilla. Wait a minute. There's a ray of sunshine in all that darkness down there. Come up here, sweetness. What's up? This is Be Real, the Buddha Master, Dr. Green Thumb. You checking? This is 50.com. Blaze it up, bitch. Insane in the membrane. Insane. Be Real, what, what does it mean to be insane in the membrane? Shit. When we wrote the song, insane in the membrane was a, a, a term that some uh, gangs used to use out here in L.A. You know, when they were, you know, loking up on another set, that would be one of the terms that they'd use. Like, uh, there was these guys out of Long Beach, Insane Crips. Mm, the Insane Crips. Yeah. Damn, it's all, a Crips is already scary, yeah. but now, now, now you got Insane Crips? Crips, yeah. it ain't got no sense? See, I was a blood, but, you know, I knew that. that oh, you was? Oh, yeah. You got jumped out? No, I never got jumped up. Oh, okay. Oh, so you still a bud? Well, sort you of know, honorary. Okay, there you go. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'll be working, man. I don't Word. got time for none of that. No Word. Like, you know no more drive-bys. Hey, no. don't call me. I told no. you I don't want to ride on these niggas. Yeah, I don't do that no right. more. That was that was some uh, gangbang terminology, and we just threw it in that song. Word. And it ended up being like, you know. A big ass. Hey, you know what's funny? The general public didn't even fucking know that. They didn't even know that shit. Y'all used to slip so much shit we over on people. We were slipping shit in. Yeah. We sure did. They didn't know. Yeah. We knew. <laughs> we were like, damn, how'd this get over? It, like, what's something else that you laugh about? Like, yo, we, we got these moments. We, we got them. Just the fact that we were able to talk about weed so much mm. and sell a lot of records, even though that was some taboo shit in the beginning mm. of hip hop. You know, mm. not too many people could talk about that because, you know, hip hop, hip hop groups were always frowned upon in the in, in the whole world of music you mm -hmm. know because it was a it was a new art form mm -hmm. and a lot of the artists at the time you know r b and, and rock and all the other ones looked at at us like we were uncreative because we were using these samples and these loops so we we're like you know the little stepbrother and shit, you know what i mean so us you know getting over with the content that we had about talking about weed and you know gangsterism in some form we didn't do it the way our brothers out here did it. We did it in such a way where we were kind of just sliding it in and, you know, not so blatant about it. But, you know, we always tripped out at the fact that people connected to the weed shit. That was a big surprise to us. But, you know, hey, here we are. Now, your mom is Colombian and your dad is Mexican. Cuban. 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 Yeah. Cuban. Cuban. I'm sorry. Yeah. Father's Mexican. Right, sure. right, right. So you, you came in in a time where, you know, it's kind of taboo for somebody from your ethnicity to even get on. True that. Yo, so like... Talk about the racism in hip hop. Well, you know, I don't think there was really racism. I think that- You didn't even get no problems from like even just regular black no, people? No, never, never. They accepted you. They accepted us outright, you know what I mean? Because some of the shit we were talking about was, con you know, a connection for anybody Relative. living in that type of situation, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You know, realistically with hip hop, it wasn't necessarily that it was ever racist because if you look at the oldest, you know, documentaries like, you know, Wild Style and uh, Star Wars, you see all the different ethnicities within the hip hop culture. There's Puerto Rican kids, white kids, Chinese kids, Jewish kids, Spanish kids, you know, kids from all over. It's just that, you know, when when the first records hit, it, you know, having to be some brothers with Sugar Hill Gang and then eventually, you know, Run DMC really cracking it off and Grandmaster Flash, Furious Five, all them. And then, you know, the Fat Boys had Prince Mark E.D. He was in there, he was Puerto Rican. And he was like the first Latin to be in a, mm -hmm. in a big, you know, in a big group. They went on to do movies and shit like that. So we all kind of crept in after, you know, Prince Mark E.D. and whatnot. He, he doesn't really get that credit, but, you know, then came Mellow Man Ace and Gerardo and Kid Frost, those three guys. Then eventually us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And uh, we never really saw that, that chick where we got hated on or anything. People always accepted us. And I think it's because we were who we were. We weren't trying to be somebody that we weren't. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, we were living that life type shit. You know what I mean? It wasn't no fake shit. We were just talking about what we were going through. We were some real motherfuckers. And, and 
I think people connected with that and they didn't care what, what we were at that point, you know what I mean? So even if we were Latin, it didn't matter. And, and we made a, 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 a conscious choice to let the record companies know, don't market us as a Latin group, Lat market us as a hip hop group. It doesn't matter what our background is, it's about our music. Mm. A lot of the other guys, you know, their record companies tried to market them to a Latin crowd that didn't exist in hip hop yet. For them to just market solely to that market, it was pretty much suicide for any Latin rapper, you know what I mean? So we made an effort to let Sony know, hey, market us just as a music group, a hip hop group, doesn't matter what we are, you know, they'll, they'll know who we are once they see us. Can you do a show in, 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 in Spanish or inside your native tongue? I could do some songs in Spanish. You know, we made a Spanish album, we translated some of our uh, earlier songs and then we did a couple of newer based ones and uh, we put that out there some years back and every now and then we'll do shows with a couple of those songs but never the full blown out show i mean i would have to like learn that shit front to back because mm -hmm. it's a different style when you're spitting in that shit you know different different syllables different pronunciations and and you gotta have that shit trump tight because motherfuckers will call you out on that shit all day. Mm -hmm. Oh, you said this fucked up. Right. You know, but in Spanish, obviously. You right. Know what I mean, so eventually we'll probably rock a whole set like that. Like if we're in, you know, Latin America somewhere, Mexico, we we plan on doing that at some point. But right now we just throw the mix. Most most of most of the shit is in English, but you know, occasionally we'll throw in some Latin shit. In there. Mm -hmm. La Costa Nostra. You fucking kidding me? You don't ever admit the existence of this thing. Did, did I pronounce it right? Well, are you talking about the group? The group. La Coca Nostra. La Coca Nostra. Yeah. You know, I, I met Slane. Right. Yeah, really, really, you know what I'm saying, dope lyricist. He's down with y'all. and one of, one of my good friends, man. How many groups are you in right now? I, I, I'm actually not in La Coca Nostra, I, but I'm affiliated because, you know, we're all family. You know what I mean? Those are all my boys right there, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people thought that I was in La Coca Nostra because I did a couple songs. You know, I was asked to do a couple songs with the, with the group a few times as well as Sick Jack and stuff like that. So a lot of people affiliate us with La Coca Nostra, you know, and uh, had they asked me to be in the group, I goddamn sure would have been in the group. But, <laughs> you were. You know. Last question, man. Right. Yo, I know you, you got a chance to be inside the studio with Eminem and work with him. What was that like? Actually, I never been in the studio with them and them. We we did a track where um, he was doing something for somebody, and I happened to be on that track. So you know, I got in the studio, and uh, we sent off the the vocals to him. He liked it, so they used it. But shit, I'd get on the track with them any day, man. Any studio, it would be great. Anytime, anywhere, one any of place. my favorite rappers in the world. Heard of. Man, is there anything you want to say to thisis50.com before we get up out here? I know you got more famous shit to do. Got mad love for 50, got mad love for This Is 50, man. Keep doing your thing, cause you do it bigger than anybody. So, peace the fuck out, and shout out to all y'all fans out there. Hey, like I always say, you just can't say you're real or something you gotta be, man. Be real, man, Cypress Hill. We are when we out of here. Do I have something in mind? Y'all go to commercial. Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth unless you got to. Boom. Black Louie, I'm strong. Play the trumpet, I'll hit that bong and break you off something soon. I got to get my props. Cops, come and try to snatch my crops. These pigs wanna blow my house down.